You've read about the floods which wreaked havoc in other countries, but right here in Singapore? Some of us may remember the times when school would be cancelled as the roads were closed due to flooding. These days, regardless of how heavy the rain, school goes on, and students straggled on when on November 19, 2009, Singapore experienced one of its worst floods in recent years. Within the space of half hour, an intense storm caused the canals to overflow, wreaking havoc on those in the area. A stretch along Bukitima Road from Danan to Coronation Road was flooded out. Some people say that for a first world nation, we shouldn't be having floods. But it's precisely because we've been developing and constructing new buildings that PUB says has contributed to the floods. There are more hard surfaces which can't absorb the rain and hence flows onto our roads and canals. Over the years, there have been many new housing developments, especially the private residential condominiums and all that. And uh, all these have changed the, the, uh, the land surface right, from the uh, sort of a grass area into uh, concrete surfaces. Because of the change in the type of development, right, from uh, a rural type of development into an urban type of development, it will actually increase the amount of runoff. So it, has, it will increase the amount of water that goes into the, the canals, right? Right. And that will then, of course, uh, require uh, planning to design it for, um, for this amount of water. Lah. With the face of Singapore ever-changing, what other areas might be affected by the flood? Mostly outside, the, if you look at the map, mostly in the outlying areas, right? yeah, not, in the, not in the main city area. Yeah. The thing in the western part, we are like in the Benoit sector area. Yeah. There's one area, yeah. Such a storm like the one we had on 19 November is rare, but it's Mother Nature's way of reminding us that although we don't get earthquakes and tsunamis, she can still wreak havoc in her own ways.